Hey everyone. So I'm going to try something a little bit different, um, out of the norm definitely for me. I have three 4x12 canvases and I taped them together on the back. Of course they're all taped off. And I'm going to try to do a bottle bottom pour on these three. So when we separate them, they're kind of a separate area of the flower, but when you hang them on the wall, you can kind of put them close together and they look kind of cool. Very abstract. So I want, I think that's the size. I might, let me do a six petal. I think we'll get better results with six petals. So I am going to lay black down first, and the reason I didn't do it first is I wanted to show you how I tape those off. Pour some black on here. And I'll probably be painting the sides black because I don't want to take them apart too much. And that way they're kind of separated canvases. So I'm not too worried about drips going over or anything. I'll clean that up when I move it. And that's this is just something for the paint to flow on. I did put a little too much on there. <laughs> but that's alright. It's going to get tilted off. Okay, let me wipe my hand off real quick. And I am going to use a paper cup. And I'm going to do a dirty pour. And with the dirty pour, um, I'm going to go ahead and spray my cup with the WD-40 silicone spray. And I'm going to be using Lucas Permanent Violet, Artist Loft Iridescent Medium mixed with Grumbacher Prussian Blue. So this is an iridescent Prussian Blue. Grumbacher Prussian Blue. Soho Payne's Gray. This is a deep dark um, blue, uh, blue black. Craft Smart Purple Pearl, and of course some white. And these all have silicone. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a little bit of white. And go with the Purple Pearl. So that will be our last colors out. Some Payne's Gray. And I'm just kind of pushing it to one side because I want to do two rounds. I just love that iridescent. And that way we come back with a little bit of white here. And a little more of the purple pearl. Soho Paints Gray. Grumbacher Prussian Blue. Grumbacher Iridescent Prussian Blue. And the Lucas Violet. So that's quite a bit of paint. Won't need it all probably. I'm gonna move these over to the side. And I'm gonna place this right in the middle. I'm gonna bend my cup and I'm gonna start pouring. Definitely a lot of blue. And here comes the light stuff. Put just a little bit of Payne's Gray. A little bit of that Prussian Blue and that Iridescent. Maybe just a tad of that dark purple. A 
I don't even care if the flower stays in the middle. I like them off-centered. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. And I'll use my little skewer. Fingers are dirty. Just pull some of this color into the center. And after this is dry, you can always go back in and paint your center in. I've already got it ready to go over the side here, so I'm just going to go ahead and tilt it this way a little bit. Try to get back to my middle. Like I said, we want it to go over a little bit. We don't want it to be a defined flower. Well, I don't want it to be a defined flower. Because the if I would have done it individual colors, it definitely would be more defined. I'm looking for something abstract. This is where I step back and look at the monitor to see where I want to go from there. And I can see I want to move this a little bit. So now my paint's all back in the middle. like this here, and this here is beautiful. So I'm going to come this way just a little bit. You have to get over that lip of that canvas. The white is letting the cells up. It's sinking. this down just a little bit. I want my canvases stay together. <laughs> I want to leave some negative space. But I'm definitely, I've lost my definition of any type of petals, haven't I? up my sides. So I'm going to have to take these canvases apart. I did one Monday Night Live. I did a double. Um, it's still wet. Um, I think it's the weather. It's taking forever to dry, which is fine. That way it won't crack. You want to keep that in mind when you're doing these paintings that you pour paint on and not tilt a lot. Um, they do take longer to dry. and Don't force them to dry. They'll crack. Okay. So I'm good with that. It's like, do I want to leave it together for a little longer? 
do I, do I? I think I'm gonna torch it first. And then I will um, take a look at it before I undo the tape on the back. Where's my hand with oh. Philip? middle canvas has a lot of paint on it, so a lot of that will run off, and I disconnect them. So it is definitely not a bottle bottom pour. <laughs> Some of the paint is going down. You can see where it's lost the lines. Alright, so I'm just going to lift the middle one up. Got a few spots on this one. So this gives it a little cohesion. I think it would look neat um, hang on the wall as a triptych. So that's it for that one guys. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click below. Click like and share and leave a comment. Um, all our links to our Amazon shop and Facebook and Etsy and Redbubble are all below. And we now have a post office box. And I will have that in the description as well. If you want to get in on our sponsored giveaway, the PayPal link is below. We just got so much going on now. <laughs> Um, live auction will happen again, um, probably the last Sunday of August, but we will keep you updated on that, and I will let you know on a future video. So thanks for much, so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Bye now.